We're about to get to Mazdar, the world's biggest experiment in sustainability. Looks like a, an oasis in the middle of the desert. Look at this! There has never been a single attempt by anybody in the whole world to do anything as aggressive and as ambitious as Mazdar City. When Abu Dhabi decides to do something, they go all in. We are in a very hot, uncomfortable, humid place. How did people adapt before there was air conditioning? One of the things we do at Master is try and blend that architecture as well as maintaining the sustainability standards. I mean, they say it's about 10 to 12 degrees cooler inside the city than it is outside. Definitely feel that. This is a one of over a hundred pilot projects we've been working on the last five or six years. Here we're benchmarking three different systems. See a mirror system here and a panel system here and a little further on we have a parabola system. So we're taking the energy from the sun, generate warmth, which runs a chiller in the background. This is a good example of trying to diversify the technologies you're developing, not just in the region but around the globe. Exactly. We look at the scale-up side of this. We position ourselves as a commercial accelerator. If we can prove something out together with our partners, and get it a year earlier to market, that's a huge value for a global company which has a large portfolio. What we're looking at right behind us, that's our first commercial building. It's going to be the Siemens headquarters, and it is currently the most sustainable building in Abu Dhabi. So what are the design elements that uh, make the building unique? This facade is northwest facing. When you get closer to the end of the day, the sun is very low and coming on the west side. So these shading devices are designed to block out the direct sunlight and yet maintain a view out. It's a very deep plan building. Uh, we have introduced light world's atria space because an office area that does not have contact to the natural lighting actually has very little value. It's pretty cool in here also. This is the natural ambient temperature. What this means is that all the shading devices are doing a good job at the moment. So Mazda City is really focused on this idea of passive architecture, correct? That's the whole idea for designing energy efficient building. You, know, you want to maximize the efficiencies of the building just through the design and the architecture itself.